Hello, and welcome to a very quick but very special Suntup unboxing or unenveloping because it's really a mailer, but presumably there's several layers to this mailer to help protect it. This is a combination of the Telltale Heart, the letter pressed edition from Suntup Editions, a little piece of cardboard to help make it sturdy. And the Annie Daguerreotype print, which uh, both of Edgar Allan Poe, uh, both of which went on sale the same morning or afternoon, depending where you are, as the Poetry and Tales collection, and both of which sold out pretty darn fast. So... Both of these are included in the lettered edition, so if you happen to have the letter edition, uh, first of all, I'm very jealous. Uh, secondly, you don't need to order a second copy of these on the secondary market. It has been the secondary market at this point because they're sold out directly from Suntop. But if you do not have a lettered edition, like me, then you had to pick up a copy. Uh, I picked these up directly through Suntup. The Well, for me it was afternoon, but depending on where you are, it could be the morning of the release. So let's start off with The Telltale Heart, a very, very famous short story by Edgar Allan Poe, and much larger trim size than I was expecting. I, I don't know, I was kind of picturing it to be really tiny, kind of like a little thorn willow uh, short story. So, if you're not familiar with the story of The Telltale Heart, then you probably did not go to school, because this is like required reading throughout school. And we've got the, uh, first and foremost, we have a wood engraving by Rosemary Fate Covey, a uh, South African artist. Now, mine does have, I have seen some people post as well that they also have a little glue spot there. I don't think it's supposed to have that, the glue spot. It's a wood engraving uh, by Rosemary Fate Covey. Oh, you can see the printer's watermark. This is printed letterpress right there on the pages. Uh, so, The Telltale Heart, you are probably very familiar with the short story, one of Poe's most famous short stories. Man kills another man, buries him in the walls, and kind of is driven insane by the sound of his heartbeat coming through the walls that he keeps hearing. Uh, this, as I said, is just the short story by itself, but it is printed letterpress on mold-made paper. Very, very fine edition for a very short tale. You can see kind of even the deckled edges, you know, the... Part of the craftsmanship. Oh, it is signed by Fate Covey. I didn't realize. Uh, so I knew it wasn't numbered, but I did not realize it was signed. Uh, it is signed uh, by Rosemary Fate Covey, the artist who did the woodblock. Uh, she also did 20 uh, Chin uh, Cole pr uh, prints of this that are included at random within uh, 20 of the numbered edition orders. I haven't or, or uh, I haven't opened my numbered edition yet. I don't think I got one because, uh, you know, it's it's luck of the draw and the odds are not in your favor when you have a twenty and three hundred and ten chance. But you never know. Anyways, very very nice. Uh, but but wait, there is more. There's also the daguerreotype. So daguerreotype uh, printing, being you know. The favorite form of sitting in front of a camera for hours to get your print done. And, oh, okay, it's just a wooden backing. There it is, number 52 out of 75. This is the Annie Daguerreotype. Only two copies of this, of the original, were made. One was given to uh, some woman named Annie. And this was presumed to be, uh, purported to be, taken several months before uh, post death. Once again, you have a little, this isn't a watermark, that is some little stamping on the corner there for the, uh, the paper maker. This is a nice little mold-made paper as well. You can see the stamping coming through the back of it. Very, very nice. Uh, this is also sold out, unless you have a lettered edition, in which case you are getting a copy with your lettered edition. Uh, so even though this is sold out, there is a, another uh there is the another print, which I have also unboxed on this channel, untubed on this channel, by Franz Smit, the man who did the cover artwork for the artist edition. He uh, did prints 
first cover artwork. It's very large, much larger than the little daguerreotype here. Those do have like a dozen copies still available if you do want yourself a nice print. That's very, it's very abstract, almost got like a Van Gogh kind of feel. I like it, uh, but you should check that out. I'm also going to be unboxing the numbered edition, which also arrived. I figured I'd start with the smaller of the packages, so check back in tomorrow, and I will upload the numbered edition unboxing. Very excited to see what that holds. I've been trying to stay away from photos and videos, so I'm sorry to the Jeff Word, and it's terrific. I haven't watched your videos on the numbered edition, because I need, I need to see it with myself. Um, so, anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Check out Suntup Editions. The... Uh, most recent title, which is Legion by, uh, oh my God, <laughs> by uh, William Peter Blatty, is uh, currently available. The numbered edition and letter edition are sold out for that, but the artist edition is still available. Up next from them, uh, purported to be Amityville Horror and Psycho by Robert Block. Very excited to see what uh, Paul Suntup and crew do for those. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you do want to get a copy of either of these, you'll have to find them on the secondary market. Or, I mean, if you're not really into the whole letterpress thing, you can just find a copy of the Telltale Heart in any old collection of Poe. But anyways, isn't it more fun with letterpress? I think it is. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing, and we'll see you around next time.